Dr. Hughes here with a quick walkthrough tour of our course. If this is your first time using Canvas or you haven't used it as extensively for an online course, I just want to walk you through how I use Canvas. I've been using this platform for many years now and I think it is the best learning management system out there. And part of that is if you can learn some of the tricks in Canvas, it makes it a lot easier and really helps you stay on task with your classes. So when you log into our course and you go into the home page, you're going to see a few different things here. Now I'm sure you've noticed that there are announcements at the top of the page and this usually shows the latest four announcements that I've made in the class. These are really important because if something changes, if there have been a lot of questions about a certain assignment or topic, this is where I try to put that information out most immediately. I also have a home page here with links to things that you probably will need to access frequently. So for example, our frequently asked questions, where this is where I would like you to email me if you have, or to post rather in the discussion if you have a question about the class. If you find an error, and many of you have found errors, keep them coming. You can report that and find an extra, if find an edit, get extra credit. And finally, if you have something that you need to report to me, such as an accommodation or something personal, you can always click on the inbox here and message me. I prefer you contact me in these ways rather than my Western Wyoming email as that gets very full with a lot of administrative tasks and, and Canvas messaging is a place where I'm focused solely upon you, my students. So once you've looked over that, you're going to click start here. And these images we're showing yesterday. I'm assuming that's a space issue on my computer. So something else that you will see in here is a to-do list. Uh, many students first inclination is to click right on the to-do items and jump into them. But that's not actually how I've designed the course. And if you do that you might encounter problems such as locked assignments because you haven't viewed certain items in the modules. So once you've looked over that you're going to click start here. And that is going to take you, as you can see in this tab, to the modules page. Modules are your home base for everything in the course. This is where you should be coming to view work you have to do and also to submit it. So when you first click here, you're going to see a module called Course Information, the Toolbox module. This module has many different video tutorials and information that are commonly asked by students in the course. I recommend that you familiarize yourself with these, watch them at least once, um, and that way if you're ever having a problem you can always come back to them and review that information. Now a helpful hint is if you close this little arrow that will minimize that module so you don't have to scroll through all of that information every time that you come to this page. So how you approach these modules is you're going to click on the first item in each module. And so for example, this page just tells you that you should be reviewing the toolbox module and that you click next to go forward in these modules. You'll then encounter the frequently asked questions page and you'll follow the directions here to post your first time initially. This lets me know that you're familiar with the frequently asked questions page. Next, you're going to count, encounter the Frequently Asked Questions page, or find an edit, excuse me, find an edit, get extra credit page. So with this, you are going to contribute to this page and make sure that you report any questions or errors that you find. Next up, you're going to have the Glossophobia lesson plan. Now something that you'll notice here is if you've not gone ahead and submitted to these pages, this is going to be locked. So you will come back to the frequently asked questions and do your post. And you'll also reply to one classmate by 
typing a reply to them. And that will then unlock the find and edit get extra credit and you'll actually be able to reply to that then. And now you'll notice when you come to that first glossophobia lesson, it is no longer locked. And you can review the information for this week's module. After you do that, you're going to take the syllabus quiz. You'll click the button here to take the quiz. And I'm going to skip going through that. But taking that quiz will then unlock the glossophobia preparation discussion. And so on and so forth through the module. You can see that for this week, you are not only submitting to the FAQ and the find and edit, but you're taking the syllabus quiz and you're posting the glossophobia preparation discussion and the glossophobia video practice. Once you've submitted to all the items and viewed all the items on this page, the next module will unlock. When you want to look at grades that you have on an assignment, you can come in here and look at grades. I encourage you to click show all details because this will unlock any comments or rubric items in the grading system. You can also come through here and type in hypothetical grades once you get assignments going to see what you would earn on a certain assignment and how that would affect your grade. One more note that I wanted to point out to you is when you are submitting assignments, there's an option to submit a private comment with them to me. I always encourage you to do that. If something is going on and these are comments just between you and I.